relief for people in multiple Kentucky counties tonight after President Joe Biden issued a major disaster declaration. 44 counties, including Estill, Lincoln, Madison, Mercer, Pulaski, and Rockcastle counties are eligible for public assistance for severe winter storms. They happened February 8th through the 19th. The ice storm left more than 154,000 people without power, four people dead and everything from landslides to water system failures. 90 members of the Kentucky National Guard responded to help with evacuations and clearing roads. County emergency leaders say this federal help is great news for many, but the people who were hit by floods a few weeks later will still need to wait for relief. Political reporter Carolina Buchek is in Esto County tonight to explain. For the areas in Kentucky that were hit hard by the ice storm and the situations that happened right after that ice storm, this declaration is great news. It frees up that much needed money. But for those areas that were hit by the flooding that happened just a few weeks later, they are still waiting. And that can seem a little bit confusing at first because all of this bad weather happened within a few weeks, but the ice storm and the flooding are considered two separate emergencies. So the paperwork for relief is separate as well. The White House press release specifies the declaration just approved by the president is for recovery efforts in the areas affected by severe winter storms, landslides, and mudslides from February 8th to February 19, 2021. Senator Mitch McConnell says the floods that happened after that time frame are still being worked on. That assessment is underway and all of the delegation will, will support it. And as soon as the assessment's completed by FEMA, I expect the governor to make his decision and that be backed up by the president. And that help can't come soon enough for many people, like those in Estill County, where floods destroyed so much. We're probably going to lose some people in the county simply because there's no housing and uh, uh, there's no place to go, no place for them to go. They really need to get back in their homes. But that additional necessary help doesn't make this current declaration any less important. It is still going to do a lot of good. For example, counties had to do a lot of power and road repair after the ice storm, and now they'll finally get help. So overall, this declaration is great news. A lot of people need this money, but a lot of others are still waiting and hoping that theirs comes as soon as possible. In Essel County, Carolina Buchek, Evening Edition. Kentucky's 5th District Congressman Hal Rogers released a statement in support of the disaster declaration. He wrote, quote, our small county governments have been working on overdrive since early February to remove debris and repair roads, water and sewer lines and other facilities that were damaged during the ice storms. This declaration provides emergency federal funding through FEMA to help pay for repairs and reimburse those unexpected costs that have been draining local county budgets. Kentucky's 6th District Representative Andy Barr also released a statement and he wrote, quote, this will provide much needed relief for communities in my district and around the Commonwealth that were impacted by the February ice storms, end quote. He went on to add, quote, as soon as the Commonwealth submits a request for a federal disaster designation for the recent floods, I plan on fully supporting and advocating for that request as well, end quote.